828 Find Adventure here. I'm gonna make a bracket that goes in the back of my pickup truck. And this thing will hang on the side, on the side rails that came with my truck. And it'll hold, this bracket here is made for a CO2 tank or a large fire extinguisher. So, so I needed a bracket to mount that because I didn't want it just flying around the back of the truck. So I used 8020 extruded aluminum. I had some scraps and black anodize from some other projects, which you can check out in my other videos. So this is basically it. And uh, in the video, I'm gonna show you how to make it and how I mounted it. It's just something I wanted to do and I hope you all enjoy it. So let's go check it out. So these are the bed rails that came with my Tundra. They also come in the Toyota Tacoma, the Ford F-150s and different things. And I was gonna use these as a mounting point for this bracket that holds the extinguisher or the CO2 canister or tank, whatever you wanna call it. You can also use this, you know, the way I'm gonna attach this bracket to the bed rails, you can attach all kinds of things. And I'll show you the T-nuts that I bought on Amazon that slide right in and enable you to bolt things to it. So one of the first things I do is I draw a little picture, I make some measurements, I kind of sketch it out. I measure it multiple times to make sure it will fit. And then I start getting all my pieces together and cut to the proper length. And then I start assembling it with all the 8020 T-nuts and inside corner brackets and parts that I need. I will also put a link under the video in the description that tells you where I got a lot of this stuff. The, uh, the big T-nuts for the bed rails the, and all the parts of the 8020 that I built this bracket with. Once you get all your parts together, it's real easy to assemble it. It's basically just using an Allen wrench and you know some basic basic tools to put it all together. And it's real solid. I love working with the 8020 because of that. As you can see here, I used the 8020 inside corner brackets with T-nuts to assemble everything. It's very solid and worked out great. You can also buy end caps that go on the ends of the pieces you cut to kind of give it a finished look. You can get these for the 10 series, the 1020, the 15 series, and so on. They come with a little push pin to hold them in. You can also tap the end of the 8020 and use a screw to hold these in more permanently. I have done that on things that sit outside of the vehicle, like my do-it-yourself light bar that I made a video on. But anyways, these give it a nice finished look because these cut edges of the 8020 can be really sharp and they can hang on things and you don't want that. So I'm just showing you these so to give you an idea. Now, as I'm pulling this all together and finishing the assembly, I always go back and double check to make sure everything fits right where I want it and the measurements are correct and everything like that. I'm also at this time figuring out exactly how I want to mount it, what kind of brackets I will need, and if I'll have to do any drilling. I really try not to do any drilling. So to mount this to the bed rails inside the bed of the truck, I decided to use some 15 series inside corner brackets. And these are very strong. I will need two of them, and I might need to drill out the hole in them just a little bit to make it a three eighths because the T-nuts that go in the bed rails take a three eighths bolt. And now that I've figured that out, I can put it in here and see if everything fits with the tank and everything before I do the final assembly. These are the large T-nuts I used to go into the bed rails. I will put a link under the video in the description to these. You can get them on Amazon and they work great. I've used them for all types of things in the bed to make tie downs and attach things. You can do anything with them. So check those out if you get a chance. So now it's time to mount this bracket to the bed rails inside the truck. All I'm gonna need to do is install the large T-nuts into the bed rails, line up, the 8020 inside corner brackets 
and bolt them on. And that's it. And then you have this real sturdy bracket to hold your fire extinguisher or CO2 tank, or it could be, maybe it's just a propane tank for your gas grill, or maybe it's a water tank. You can do that. You can make a, you make a large bracket to hold your tools, like a shovel and a pick or whatever you got, or, you know, it just depends on what you use it for. Always be careful not to let the uh, inside of the camper shell or whatever you're putting it in heat up too much. You don't want to leave these tanks out in the heat. But besides that, this bracket works great. You bolt it on easy. It's very strong, which you will see. And I'm happy with it. You know, I just, this idea just came to me in my head and I just drew it up and sketched out some pictures and I said, I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But it ended up working out just fine and I'm happy with it. Well, here it is all bolted in. You can see the T-nuts that I slid into the, the bed rails. They bolted right up to the inside corner brackets that are black in the 15 series. It uses big Allen bolts. I also used the split washer in there just to keep it super tight. And it turned out really strong. Now, let's, let's see how this whole tank goes in there. I had tested all this out beforehand just to make sure everything fit. I did my measurements several times just to make sure everything was, you know, copacetic. So it just, you know, the tank fits good. It doesn't stick up too high. This is a 10 pound tank, CO2 tank. I will 80% of the time use this for power tools like nail gun and grinders and stuff like that. But there it is. It doesn't take up too much room at all. It comes out about as far as the wheel tub. So I think this is a great addition to the truck. And I just wanted to show you how you can make these brackets out of 80-20 to hold things inside the bed of your pickup truck. Now this will also work in vans or whatever, but you know, you just have to kind of kind of think about these things and sketch them out. I did not have or had seen anything like this. I just had the idea and I was like, well, let's see if I can make it work. And you know, it looks like it did. The, uh, the hose for this tank does barely reach the front wheel. It's a 20 foot hose. And I'm not a big fan of the coiled hoses. I'd rather have just a flat hose that you could just, you know, wound up at, like an extension cord at the end. But this does the job. Well, I hope you like my video installing the bracket to hold a CO2 tank or a fire extinguisher in the back of the Tundra. I connected it to the bed rails that come with any of the Tacomas or full-size trucks or whatever you got. You can also add a bed rail if you need something to, to bolt something to. Um, so this 8020 worked great. It's very solid. It's not going anywhere. The bracket holds the tank great. Now I can take my air tools and take them anywhere I need to go. I can also air up my tires and do whatever I need if I need to do that or just help somebody out on the side of the road by plugging their tire and airing it back up. Remember folks, these ideas just come to me. I just thought of it. I was like, geez, how can I, how can I mount this thing in the back of my truck? I knew I had the bed rails and I knew those big T-nuts work great in the bed rails. You know, I just started sketching, drawing pictures, trying to figure out what I could do with the 80-20. And, and I just came up with this, you know, so, you know, if you have an idea and you've never seen it before, that doesn't mean you can't make it or be the first one to make it or the second or just because you hadn't seen it, you know, you can make something. So just remember that innovation's always there, you know, there was probably other ways to make this that other people have done out of steel or buying moly panels for it or whatever you got. But this, uh, this idea worked good for me and it's very solid. So anyways, I hope you like it. <laughs> I love that. Can't wait to cut something up with it. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. It was just an idea I had. 
Be sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. It helps out. Stay tuned. I got more videos coming and I will see you next time. See ya. Thank you.